it's government waste. Government waste. Now, I don't know if there was anybody here supervising them or, or what, but it's, to me it's ridiculous. Well, more than three years after the deadliest wildfire in California history, new questions tonight about the cost of the cleanup and how the government program continues to stress out homeowners who have already obviously been through so much. And ABC 7 News 9 team reporter Dan Noyes is here with the story. Dan, talk about insult to injury from their perspective. That's right, Dan. You know, there's one basic question before us. Can the government do a job better than the private sector? In this case, we're talking about removing debris from homes destroyed by the campfire. This has uh, got potential for a major incident. The Sawyer family barely escaped the campfire November 8, 2018. They were stuck in that horrible traffic jam as flames devoured the town of Paradise and returned four days later to see what was left of their home. It was still on fire, so I couldn't spend a lot of time here. All of the lines were down and it was tremendously dangerous to come here. When they finally could return safely, Mandy's husband, a rock singer, recorded a music video in the ashes. Where do we run? And Mandy put her skills to work. The Chico State journalism professor had many questions about the government response, how teams from Cal OES, Cal Recycle, and FEMA cleaned up the debris and sent bills to homeowners. What's your first reaction when you see that bill? That's crazy because it was almost $84,000. The government charged $84,000 to clear the ash and rubble of her home when a private company cleared another family member's lot with more significant asbestos issues for much less. It was $26,000. $26,000. Was theirs done with a private contractor? Private contractor. There's the difference, right? Yes. Turns out private companies are cheaper, not only for the homeowners, but also for you because of how your tax dollars are being spent. Federal and state tax dollars cover most of the campfire cleanup. That's your money, more than a billion dollars for the program. Homeowners are only responsible for what their insurance pays for debris removal, if anything at all. Mandy Fader Sawyer is now writing an article for the local newspaper, and she asked me to help investigate the campfire cleanup program. In the big picture, what's the importance of the story? What, why is this an important thing to think about and talk about? Um, I think for all of us to understand where your tax dollars are going and why, um, why there's such a huge discrepancy. We have documented case after case in which the government charged much more than private contractors, up to 10 times more. If they were a regular business, they would be out of business. Max Gardner drove a dump truck for a private contractor that cleared 57 homes destroyed by the campfire and charged much less than the government for each project. You know, we take it down to the, to the soil where you don't see any more ash. Then we'll take it down another two to three inches. Gardner says the government crews removed much more soil. Those lots around Paradise are easy to spot. I see those divots, those massive divots that are like swimming pools. Why would they do that? Because they get paid by the ton. We didn't get paid by the ton. We're, we're just charging. And paid by the job. By the job. And the problem with the hole that deep, you have to fill it before you can rebuild. And that can be expensive. Just ask Dick Randlett and his fiance, Carol Jones. After their guest house burned to the ground, the government crew left an 80 foot long hole from three to six feet deep. It's a huge hole. Well, you can't have that hole in building it. You gotta build it and bring it back up. They also received an $84,000 cleanup bill from the government. Still stressful, even though they understand the taxpayers are picking up most of the tab. What has it been like going through all this? I was wishing our house would have burnt down too, so we could just leave. A spokesman for Cal Recycle, Chris McSwain, declined to be interviewed, but in a written statement, he defended the government charging more than private companies for the campfire cleanup, saying the state managed program went beyond loading ash into trucks and included formal verified safety protocols, air quality testing, protection for stream beds, and more. Former Paradise Mayor Scott Lauder's family lost two homes and a rental property. He encouraged people to use the government cleanup program, but now has a different view. And you consider the private company doing it versus the government doing it. Right. What was the difference? Just, uh, you know, buckets full of dollars was, was the big difference. Lauder tells me the costs should have been more in line. 
before anyone began to haul away debris, the State Department of Toxic Substances removed the serious dangers such as batteries, toxics, lead, and asbestos. Whether that was public or private cleanup, the, the nasty stuff had been removed and cleared before anybody came in to clean things up. Lauder also questions the government's choice of Tetratech to oversee the program. The company is being sued over the cleanup of San Francisco's Hunters Point shipyard after two of its scientists admitted faking soil samples and went to prison. I spoke with a U.S. congressman representing the district that includes Paradise, Doug LaMalfa, about the controversy and the cost. You know, I mean, I can see there's going to be a little bit more overhead in maybe in a, in a government process. There's a a couple more boxes to check on safety or what have you, but double and triple the price. And these are some of the same figures I'm hearing is on the average, triple the price. Why does it have to be that way? Good question. LaMalfa is concerned that as we head into another fire season, these exorbitant costs for cleanup will become the norm. He also believes that us raising these issues is an important step to getting the costs under control. If you care about this, speak up. After all, it's your money. Dan, I'm oh, it sure is, and a lot of money it is. It is. Dan, thank you very much. Great job as always. Now, if you'd like to see a story investigated, contact the ABC7 News I team. Go to abc7news.com/i team, or if you prefer, call 1-888-40-I team.